shook. No, 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 no. You're going to give me four, four iron. I don't want the stupid gold. Just give me the iron and your copper. Wait, he wants me to give him gold. That's bullshit. No, I'm not giving you gold. You can say whatever you want, but you don't have as many units as you were trying to, to pretend you had. And there's a enemy unit that's been spotted in our territory. It's probably that Hunnic scout that's still walking around there. Um, let's see. Let's set up for ranged attack and then fire on the city of Zurich. You can fire as well. Just have everybody that is like a range unit fire. Let's go for it. You attack. We are seriously taking Zurich. And then um, I think it's a city state it was before. So I'm just going to liberate it. If that is an option, of course, I'm going to liberate it and then allow them to uh, just be free. Just be uh, the free people of Zurich again because they deserve that. They don't deserve to be anyone's slaves. Already attacked. And then you can attack as well. Pretty sure that next turn we should be able to take down the city or at least do some more damage as soon as I have some more crossbowmen in um, position. You just move over there. We're moving up against the city and, and such. Uh, we should make a trading post over there. Here we go, and you cannot attack anymore, so I'll just defend, and defend, and next turn, I'll take a look at what they're going to do. I mean, at most, they're going to take down, like, what, two units, I think, so we should be able to take care of this little problem we've got going here. Some warriors, but they're just normal warriors, so we should do a lot of damage to them. Yep, 36 damage. Oh, no, he actually got an upgrade, and then he died. That sucks, because I would have used the upgrade to give him some extra health. But not to worry, not to worry. We can still use enough. We still have enough units. Um, attack the city, you first. You can purchase some shit with faith, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to build a... That's going to take forever. Let's just go with some other stuff, such as a castle, maybe. Some defensive stuff. Make a trading post. Um, you fire upon the city. That's right. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. And then you just take it over. And you will sacrifice your life pretty much, but there we go. Liberate the city of Zurich. Um, this way, if we we can annex the city or create a puppet, but that's going to give us a lot of unhappiness. And there's not really anything great right here in Zurich. If you look at the city, it doesn't have access to any great... It, all it has is one sugar. Now, if I liberate the city, we, they will be eternally grateful. They're going to be our best friends. They're going to give us sugar. And they're... What sort of city are they anyway? What sort of city state were they? Uh, I don't think there's a way to check him, but they were a, a city-state, so they're going to give us free shit anyway. Let's liberate them. We're now the ally of them. We have liberated them. Um, our spy, we're going to move them up against um, the Huns again. They probably have some... They might have some uh, military technology for us to steal, so let's just move. And it's time for us to say, hey, Attila. I think it's about time that you uh, give me a f four iron and... Uh, Oh, you want me to pay you? Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, I'm not going to give you money for, for peace. That's kind of retarded. I guess I'm going to have to take down some more of his units for him to accept the fact that he lost this little war that we were in. There we go. You just take them out. And you... We still don't have enough iron, but we are still creating our little uh, trait route. We need two more road thingies, and now we're there. Um, let's move up. You are going to sweep in and... Um, Take down the remains of our enemies. And now we're going to have to focus on some more military stuff. But at least we're not like a warmongering menace to the world. Because we didn't do anything wrong. We actually liberated the city-state. Which is actually a good thing to do. Um, but we don't have any... We probably have sugar now anyway. Because they're giving it to us. So that's a good thing. Uh, we are the most the world's most well-fed people. So we have a shitload of food it seems. Here we go. Okay. Um... I think the Huns are all retreating, so that's a pretty good thing. Let's just move out. We uh, we have won the war. We have liberated Zurich. They are no longer dangerous to us. They're now friends, which is cool, because I like having friends. And everybody can just move back. Uh, you pikemen, just chill. So they were actually, which is great. We are receiving four happiness from them. They also are giving us porcelain and sugar, um, because they were, what sort of city state are they? What, what's this called again? They're doing your Elisuric, blah, blah, blah. They're not for your military. They're mercantile, so they give you extra happiness. I thought they might give you money, but I guess they don't. Uh, they have no... Qu the quest they have is they want the um, player with the largest faith. 
Um, and that's actually us right now, because we are having 13 faith a turn, which is, it seems, okay for our uh, time. So Darius has made peace with Attila. I am pretty sure that we are going to do the same soon, seeing as there is no war anymore. And he, he's been bumped down to, like, the final spot there is, like, the lowest of the lowest. So um, let's actually promote this a little siege unit thing. Our war is not going well, which is bullshit. Persians are not to be trifled with. We are stronger than the Polynesians and the Japanese. The Siamese and the Arabians and the Germans are stronger than us as well. Uh, but we're not going to trifle with the... Um, what 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 are they called with the um, the Persians anyway? Because we're friends, we're good friends. We have a defensive pact going, and they don't really have a reason to go to war with us anyway. So we should be okay. Uh, let's move everybody out of here. I'm gonna sort of hide my units from him so he can't see um, what I have going on for me right now. Because he's gonna see that I have shitty units, and he's gonna you know try and kill me. Maybe who knows if he sees that I'm doing shitty and that I have all these resources, I have a shitload of money. He might actually try and strike against me, so I'm just moving everybody away. Okay, we're gonna get open borders with him to so, uh, solidify, solidify our relationship. We have a Renaissance area, an unidentified spy stole the secrets of education. That's kind of bullshitty, but okay, that sucks. Um, Let's see, our next is going to be gunpowder, so we can finally upgrade our units to somewhat higher degree of power. And we're going to build a um, barracks, I think, maybe. Trireme, that's not too great. I don't want a trireme, I want a... Uh, okay, let's go with barracks first, so we can get some better units up in here. And then you all need to leave. And you need to keep going, and you need to keep going yourself as well. Let's get that siege unit out of there, and then you can move over there. And the pikemen as well. Just move. There's no reason for us to remain here. Zurich has been liberated. And they are eternally grateful. It's going to take a long, long time for them to forget about this. And uh, we did a good thing. You know, we did a good thing for the world. And it's um, now it's harder for other people to justify attacking us as well. Because they're going to be seen as a warmongering uh, menace to the world. I mean, I'm just this, this nice little, you know, uh, civilization that's just making money and just trading and shit. I am friends with loads of people. I liberated, you know, another city-state that was around. And there's no reason to attack me whatsoever. So you can't just do that, obviously. So hopefully it'll, um, you know, sort of defend my position a bit better. Uh, let's see. Can we... That's going to be a major defeat. Let's stay away from that situation right there. You need to heal up. Just move. Uh, recruit has uncovered a tale secretly plotting against Oda. We cannot steal stuff from them because they are extremely stupid. So that kind of sucks. Now, I don't like Oda, because he's kind of a jerk. Uh, I think he's been kind of a jerk in the past. But I'm just going to tell him this um, situation. Hey, listen up, dude. Uh, the, Hunics are, the Huns are trying to murder you, so... It's a bad thing. And we're also friends now, so that's nice. And uh, Attila is still doing incredibly, you know, bad... Propose. And now we're friends again. He's friendly, which is bullshit, but... Our war is in an end. Um, I think he... Did he make peace with... Um, he better have made peace with uh, the other uh, city city he was attacking. Makes it peace. Yeah, he's made peace with Zurich. Because now I'm now uh, protecting Zurich. Not officially. I haven't actually said that I was doing it, which is, you know, something that other civilizations like to do. They're like, oh, I'm protecting them now. I don't really do that myself, but, you know, it is, it is I hope, generally understood that I'm now um, defending them, that we're friends, and that they are within good hands with me because I have defended them pretty successfully the first time. No matter what you say, it was pretty successful. Uh, now let's move over. The, oh, the scout's in the way. Okay, let's actually make a way for him. So that he can finally get the fuck out of my territory. Um, go to Utrecht. There we go. So we got another siege unit, which I'm just going to keep stored over there. Let's build a... Um, I could go with a mine for production. That would not be a good, uh, bad idea. So there we go. And uh, next turn. Public declarations from Japan are now protecting a whole bunch of people for some reason. That's kind of weird because they're very weak. Uh, no, I'm not going to help you attack Japan. Japan is a pretty cool guy. We've got declarations of friendship going. Why would you denounce me? That is not not right. I've not done anything wrong. I hope Darius is not mad at me or whatever because I want to keep... Uh, okay, I have de declaration of friendship with one of their enemies. Uh, what do you want for wine? Oh, there's no way to make that work. 
How about a defensive pact? Okay, so he still wants a defensive pact with me. And how about you? Okay, he doesn't want a defensive pact. I will give you marble. No, wait. I will give you citruses for a defensive pact. And marble? Okay, so he doesn't want a defensive pact. He's not interested in becoming my friend. That's kind of a douchey way, but okay. Uh, defensive pact? Okay. So still, I'm good friends with like the two of the biggest leaders there are. So I think for now... Um, Darius is not going to try and attack us for now at least which is good uh, let's see can we buy let's buy the tile and actually kick them out of there here we go it was just a sneaky way to sort of pass by let's just uh, go let's just go I want you to sort of stick around you to stick around and then and the uh, the knight as well he's already healing I believe you can just go over there and heal that's absolutely fine and you need to stick here for a bit just stay, hang back and defend yourself next turn so um, I'm pretty sure that Darius will not attack me for a while uh, get over it I don't give a shit I don't give a shit about the hunts at all they're like the dumbest people there are they have been denounced by some by someone just now Polynesia so I'm pretty sure that I really shouldn't care if they uh, get mad at me I don't I really don't give a shit let's keep going and we almost have our roots going right now between our um, cities. There we go. Heal up. We desperately do need some upgrades. We almost have gunpowder, at which point we're going to have better units and we might be able to defend ourselves against the Persians because we're not to travel with the Huns and with the, uh, let's see, the Persians, the Persians. I'm pretty much uh, the same as the Germans right now, but um, I still don't like going to war with people. I would not like doing that whatsoever. I can't get anything here because I probably already built something. How about over here, Utrecht? Oh, I just purchased something that I didn't mean to buy. That's really dumb. Uh, missionary. So that we can finally spread our religion to Groningen, which doesn't even have it. Uh, okay, just chill out. We are all, you know, cool and hanging out and shit. Just, you know, just chilling, just chilling. Siege units, okay. Eight more turns until gunpowder. If he's going to attack, he will probably do it before then. Because I'm going to have access to some better units then. A lot better units. I will might have the money to actually upgrade them as well. Um, so it's better for him to just take me out as fast as possible. So hopefully he's going to you know chill out and just remain friends with me. But he's got like this major huge force of, of, of units. Siege units as well. That doesn't look good at all. Fuck. I wish there was something I could do, but there's just nothing I can do right now. I'm going to hang back with these units and wait for him to actually attack me, which might still take a little while, um, but it's not that too, it's not too far. Uh, upgrade, yes, long swordsman. Honics are not to be traveled with. Uh, Darius, he's still friendly, but I still have a declaration of friendship with his enemies. Hey, so um, are you mad at me or discuss? Okay, we're still friends. Thank God. I guess, I think being friends means that you can't declare war on each other. At least I really hope so, because that would mean that we have some more friendship going. Let's make another crossbowman. Let's just sort of prepare for this war that is definitely, definitely coming. Um, I'm not going to let him, you know, surprise me anymore, because that is what happens to me all the time. But not this time, buddy. I'm not going to let you surprise me anymore. Next turn. Uh, this deal, yes, that was a really dumb deal for me. Uh, how about you give me some... Horse aren't the greatest. Wine? Um, how about just like 10 gold a turn? How about 10 gold a turn? Okay, 7 gold per turn. There we go. So at least I'm making some more money. And I don't need the citrus anyway. I have tons of happiness. We should be good to go. I am in second place. So I'm pretty sure Darius might be... Scared right now. Attila's plung against me. What an idiot. I'm still at his court. Taking a look at all the shit he's doing. And he will not actually be successful, I hope. Because he shouldn't be. Uh, let's make a mine over here. Get some more production. You can just stay there. And you can stay. And you. And you should stay there. You need an upgrade, but that's coming next turn. When we get some more money... Nobunaga has completed Petra, which is a very, very good one here if you're in the middle of a desert. It's, you can earn shitloads of money with that, and I think okay. some other things as well. Um, 
But whatever, research agreement with the Rakamang has been completed, so we have gunpowder now. Next thing, let's take a look. I'm going to go in full military for right now, because I really need good units. Industrialization is going to give us um, Gatling guns, which are great units, and rifling. So I'm going with banking after that economic, so we can get some better military units. Let's go to my own city. Can I actually reach my own city? What the heck is this? Trading post, there we go. Come on, we're almost there. Still have a normal warrior, which really needs upgrading. Desperately, one might say. Hopefully, we're going to reach our golden age soon, because then we can actually earn you know, a good amount of money. Declaration of friendship with Germany has expired. Germany is not really my priority right now, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Boom, swordsman. Um, okay, so Polynesians are not scary. Japanese, not scary. Siamese are stronger. Arabians, Hunnics. Germans, the same. But they're still not talking to me about the Persians, so I don't like that. See, they've got riflemen. Or uh, musketmen? Yeah, musketmen. So, yeah, and they're all at my gates. I don't know why they're at my gates. Like, of all the gates you could have picked, he's arriving at my gates. I'm not sure what to think of that. Pretty sure I should be very, very intimidated right now. But um, I don't know what to do. Boom. Just upgrade, just upgrade. We need 100 gold and iron for this to happen, which we have. So, I, oh yeah, it's just the money that I don't have right now. Um, okay, so no good ranged units yet. Um, just stay here. That's all we can do for now. You just stay there, let them pass. Just hope to, to the gods they're moving away. It seems like they're moving away to the Polynesians now, so hopefully they are and they're going to leave me alone. Because I'm not interested in a war with the Persians. I mean, it has been common for a while. It's just that I don't like the Persians. And they are way too strong for my taste. Boom, musket man. Not enough money for that one, though. Uh, stay there. Stick with our own stuff. And we now have converted them successfully to um, atheism. We're going to convert Zurich as well. Because they are my friends. They're they will be my friends for a long time, that's for sure. They're also giving me horses, it seems. It should be, at least. Give me horses. They're not giving me horses. That kind of sucks. Um, here we go. Got another unit. So we are getting some more units. That's good, at least. Uh, let's move over there. Get to Zurich. Next thing we're going to be making is another musket man. Because I cannot stress enough how important it is for me to get more units. I am going to get utterly destroyed if they ever decide to move up against me. Which would not be a very fun thing to have happen to you. Oda Nobunaga has completed the Oracle. That's nice for him. Yes, so Darius has declared war on Kamehameha. Which means that he was, in fact, not amassing at my gates. He was just amassing at his gates. Just at a distance. It just seems very scary to me. We're now making 70 gold with our new trade route, which we have. So that is pretty much amazing. Because that's, honestly, a shitload of money. Just make some stuff. I don't care what you do. Go to Zurich. Hopefully they're not going to take Zurich down because I like having them as my friends. Um, Crosswoman just stand on top of the hill. Next turn. I'm pretty sure he's not going to declare war on me at the same time as the Kamehameans. What are they called? Polynesians. So he's trying at least to become friends with me. Okay, I accept. Sure, let's try and at least become sort of friendly with them because I don't like war whatsoever with anyone. So just try, you know, to become friends with more people. It's never a bit bad thing. Um, for sneaking, so Attila is gonna have a sneak attack against someone else, but that might just be me. It's a naval attack. In other words, we might have some, might want to have some more boats at our coast. So let's make a galley ass, gill ass. I don't know how to pronounce that, yo. Uh, boom, musket man. So we got one of those now, and boom, we got another one of those. Polynesians, the Japanese are stronger than us, stronger than us, stronger than us. Germans is about the same. Still doesn't talk about the Persians as much. Because I would very much like to know how good they are doing. Nope, that's not happening. He wants to pass through my gates for some... Oh, he probably wants to get a scout out of here, but that's not happening. That scout is forever mine. And he just now entered the Renaissance area, in which I have been for a while. So he's not doing a very great job. Uh, do I have any more units I can upgrade? Crossbow? No, not yet. Arthur M is about to be to grow okay and we're still making a shit ton of money we're about to get the new social policy and that's a good thing as well 
just chill for a second we all have good stuff going here i will probably make a new city just now to get there's a ton of food here there's production there's a mountain uh we might be able to get our hands on the silver if we go over here or over here who knows because uh, rotterdam should be able to get that silver soon and then we can get that silver and work the the, the stone we get extra citruses which we can then sell so going over there might be a good idea so right now i'm picking the policy to get a free settler i think yep let's go with the free settler uh there we go let's just move out they're suggesting right next to the mountain but that's weird because there's no access to water whatsoever we do get to pick one more free great person there are several good ideas to go with and i should have thought about this before clicking this because i'm not quite sure great artist can give you culture create golden ages scientists give you gain a large amount of science great merchant can conduct a trade mission and get you a bunch of money from that engineer can hurry a production um production of a unit building or wonder so i think i'm gonna go with that so i can you know just in a make a quickly make a unit or make a, a wonder in a, when i'm in a pinch just you know sort of get that done quickly uh over here i'm gonna have to make let's go with a i could go with a library but that's not too great for this place i actually want to go with a yeah let's go with the temple why not get some faith you know spread the faith over there get some more um happiness as well so that is a good thing whatsoever um at all uh that doesn't even make sense what i just said move stacked unit i have to move him away just stay there you know just chill for a bit i am pretty sure that the exact spot of the horse is a pretty good start uh, place to start because you get access to not too many tundra which is sucky but you do get horses citrus you get some hills for the production and defense uh the kettle for food you get silver and